<laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Signed, James Douglas. James Douglas! We are a very disturbed individual, I think. Oh, here we go. November 26, 2019. Howard's trip to the hospital. Wait a second. I asked the nurse about Howard's whereabouts. She looked uneasy. Okay. I didn't think about whether the hospital had anything to do with the missing person's cases. I met with Dr. Howard, but didn't expect what would happen afterwards. Okay. What the hell is going on? What is this game? Oh, okay. Get him! Get him! I don't understand what's happening! Dude, I whooped your butt! What? Some hours earlier. Now I'm strapped in a chair? Okay. Uh... Huh? Eh? Eh? Doctor? Don't you freaking do it! What's uh, There was a fish in a bed, and then I was thrown off a roof, and now Dr. Octopus is experimenting on me? Come on, controls. I would have been the best sharpshooter in the FBI. Of course, nobody remembers the name of James Douglas anymore. Oh, yeah. Mechanical James Douglas. Wait, this is where I was a minute ago, and the Human Torch beat me up. For a professional, one hit would be enough to kill. Don't know what's hidden in this hospital, but I should first protect myself. Don't you open that door. Current evidence points towards a local private hospital. Initial contact suggests that searching the hospital would be crucial to the investigation, confirming that the suspect is redacted. If a search warrant cannot be granted by the 26th, investigators may use other methods to obtain the evidence from the hospital. Ah, okay, so break the law going anyway. Gotcha. Hiya! <laughs> You've just been James Douglas, friend. Ah, uh, there we go. Glitchy twisting control. There we go. Quit moving in the other direction. Trusty M1911 pistol that's seen a lot of action. After my parents were divorced, I went to the States with my father. He gave me a pistol just like this one when he worked at the Air Force Base. Because of his work, my dad didn't spend much time with me. He said, James, you have to learn how to protect yourself. James Douglas! We are a very disturbed individual, I think. You don't have enough puzzle pieces for the- but I- I don't want to pay money for puzzle pieces. I could just shoot the chain? Oh, James Douglas. I didn't think it would be that easy. No, let me pick up my Mortal Kombat action figure. Or it's a bobblehead, I guess. Why can't I pick it up? Yeah, there we go. Now I can just push buttons like a dope and, uh, not waste all of my ammunition, huh? Yeah! With the force of my fists! That'll show him who's boss, James Douglas. Former FBI agent, and I thought a cop at one point, but now he's an FBI agent. Now you're telling me I am also a Resident Evil agent? Fighting the Umbrella Corporation, former FBI who's on a personal crusade to take down zombies in a hospital or something. Come on, the movement controls aren't very good. Please don't keep making me go upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna need you to quit with that. Mr. Douglas, please. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Gotcha. Hmm, I guess somebody had a 
stabbing pain. <laughs> James Douglas out. James Douglas! I have a feeling I might also be Edwin Howard. That seems to be kind of what's happening here. Yeah! Good night, sweet prince. Signed, James Douglas. <laughs> Stupid controls. The B series of patients have undergone surgery with the following results. Steve, frontal lobe damage. Carlos, deceased. Mike, frontal lobe damage. Joseph, atrophied. James, Nick. That was the author's name, Nick. Okay, so I became Nick and also James Douglas. Gonna have to sneak up on him. Ah, ah, ah. Dude! And we got him! James Douglas! James Douglas! This is a key card that unlocks the door to the inpatient department. Most people inside have gone insane, but hopefully there will still be some normal people. Maybe not. Uh, okay, that room wasn't there before, and yeah, why is this place on fire? Perfect, perfect, thank you, thank you for asking, thank you. How many secrets do they have here? Oh, she got, she got pointy ears, she's a demon person. Get her! Yeah! James Douglas doesn't need this crap! That is bogus! So, we're gonna try this. Get her, 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 get her! Good God. I had ten bullets, it took ten. Get her, 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 get her! Why? And I really hate to say that I had to do this, um, but I'll just demonstrate here. I now have 30 pieces of ammunition and enough puzzle pieces to upgrade the gun because this game cheats and I just watched like 25 ads. Oh, thank goodness, and hey, it worked! <laughs> Nurse's ID card. Someone left it here, and I might be able to use it for something. The nurse's job was to look after the intensive care unit room. I wonder what's waiting for me there. My guess. Nurses. A hidden room? Whose brain is in the container? Hey, Brain, who belongs to you? You're telling me James Douglas can be a race car driver, too? I'm in. Oh, no. Back in the ghost house. Hit that thing again. Hit it one more. All right, so this is what happened at the end of the last one. Vibrating phone that displays jump. What should I do? You just jump. James Douglas declares this the most badass fire ever. Can I just shoot the uh, sprinkler? <laughs> All right, out of the furnace and back into the hospital. Awesome. Where does this hallway lead? Howard doesn't realize what he has done. My heart feels uncomfortable, but I can probably still take it.
again, that's it. Carlos Gonzalez, Interpol. Okay, but and Molotov cocktails and mummies. Yeah, this is an endless nightmare. Oh, and I can sucker punch. Beautiful. Who are you? Alrighty, so that's it for Endless Nightmare Part 2. If you guys want to see Endless Nightmare Part 3, which apparently has actually come out very, very recently, like, very recently, like, this month, please like the video, please subscribe, and please, please, please keep watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good night. Bye, guys.